disbelieving eyes Just like his eyes How must I appear to those eyes Like a mad dibbuck did you survive? I did what they told me to do. Everything and anything. I've worked in warehouses where the floors were awash with great piles of shoes, clothing, spectacles, even the hair they shaved from our bodies. I collected it. I dissected it and fed it back into their war machine. Once I taught school for three months to the children. I was a teacher, you know. And when the doctors came, they selected the youngest for fiendish experiments. Those with broad shoulders were sent to dig ditches, graves their own. While the handsomest, the handsomest, were given to a fate worse than death. Get me, hear me, I'm telling you the truth. Why didn't you fight back? Fight back when you're starving, rarely with whispers in the dark. When being beaten has become your way of life, how do you reclaim your spirit? Reverberated in my skull An outcast Two children Her husband a businessman Her father a doctor Betrayal Revenge 
Then I remembered the letter I sent. How soon after that were we arrested? A week, maybe two. Could she have known where we were? There was no other answer. She had betrayed us. Then I swore to live, live to punish her. My sister, my tormentor, my In this the city of my sister By chance I am here In the safety of your home Dearest lady And by chance I may yet find her Before they find me And give her
the guilt and sin so suffering in the wells of your eyes I see the sister Rachel, Rachel. Rachel, it's Thomas. Thomas. The police are behind me. We must go tonight. Get the children. Oh, God. Who are you? He's one of the men who escaped this morning. We must take him with us. I can't. I've no papers. We must take him with us. I can't. I've no papers. I'm only without him. He is my brother. Don't worry about me. I'll meet up with you later. We're going to stop I'll her. find you at the pier. There'll be time for reunions. Get the children. Let's go.
Thank you. 
these two boys that time forgot as they played together. And their mother in her cot grew fearful of the weather. She rushed out her boys to find from the doorstep calling. Though her voice was strong and cold, on deaf ears it was falling. Over stone and egg and tine, through the lowland meadow, o'er the fields and to the tree. The warning cry, it echoed. <laughs> Stands a tree all alone and withered. Stood the mother neath the tree against the storm she shivered. She knew then they could not descend into the maelstrom churning. Peace of reeds would be there if they be no more So she cried. Oh! <laughs>
Just putting them to bed now. I'm sorry about your brother. Brody too. I tried to warn him. There was nothing I could do. It was the same with your father, a mistake. I never intended for him to be exterminated. Somehow he got on the wrong list. I hope that this evening's escapade has enlightened you. Giving you the credit for turning them in. Perhaps it is time to relocate you to an area where you'll be more useful to us. But I've no appointments for the evening. I could stay a while. Where are you going? I haven't finished with you. 